Hello guys, welcome to another video and uh, I have another package here for you guys and um, this well by the title of the video you guys already know what this is but this is gonna help my videos better to help you guys see my videos better um, I'll be more lit up and whatnot so let's uh, let's go ahead and get into these now I've been looking I've been looking for for set of lights for a while now and let's try to find something that's more portable I guess you'd say something where I don't have to be independent on um, on electricity per se so I actually went ahead and got these lights I actually got two of them so I'll just do the one anyway for now so I got the uh, Velt, Velt Rocks VL-162T kit so professional LEDs these are actually LED lights they are specifically designed to be mounted onto a tripod and they're, uh, they're battery battery powered so they run on rechargeable lights like rechargeable batteries so on the side here we got the Velt, Velt Rocks VL-162T kit professional LED lights on the back here zoom in so you guys can see it a little bit better here on the back you got model number VL162T kit color temperature 30, 30, 3300K to 5600K can be adjusted so this one here you can actually it's got a little knob on you can actually adjust it uh, maximum brightness Okay, so brightness range is 20% to 100% which can be adjusted. Maximum brightness is 1070LM at 1 meter. Maximum illuminance is 1250LUX at 1 meter. Maximum power is 12 watts. Continue light, uh, light time approximately 3 hours, so it'll run about 3 hours or so on, on a charger battery. Uh, color rendering index is 95 RA. Input power is DC 9 volts to 12 volts, 1.5 amps. Uh, DC 005 general interface. Of course, we'll need the dimensions. They're about 230 grams, not including the battery. Then, what's inside the box is one LED light, one hot shoe adapter, universal user manual warranty, lithium battery, lithium battery charger, and color filter. So, of course, this is from uh, Senzenju, so it's actually a Japanese. It's a Japanese uh, light. So, we'll see how this works. So, on this side, you got the Voltrax and the bottle number. Don't got very much on here. The box is kind of beat up on the corner here, so hopefully, it's fine. But let's go ahead and get into these here so the first thing we got here is this must be the warranty card put that off to the side this is the uh, the actual manual which I'll be uh, going through all this here and then these are Looks like feels like there there might be filters. So let's uh, open this up. Yes. Yeah, so these are actual different colored filters. We'll see how uh, how this works in a second here. And of course, we got the actual light itself. We'll just put that off to the side for the moment. 
and then I'm assuming that's the actual battery this is the actual uh, tripod adapter and then we got the battery charger so now interesting with these with this okay so this is just one of those um, ones that you just plug into the wall that's got the um, the adapter actually built into the outlet here like the plug-in built into the actual charger so just just like that so that's an interesting um, interesting design oh, interesting so this actually comes off hmm okay so I wonder if this is designed for different types of batteries probably okay so that's the actual charger and then this is the uh, tripod mount right here so I actually also bought the tripods for this so okay so this actually tilts back and forth it's just a little bit of fear for you guys in case you can actually see that any better so this actually tilts back and forth so you actually got uh, so it tightens to the way you want it of course you got the little thing here that actually spins and then you've got the actual uh, tripod mounts on here as well so that's there and it's also got the little pin on here to set up to uh, so they kind of hold them in place so we'll place that there and then the battery is what kind of battery does this thing take so it seems to be a little longer battery than normal okay so this is the size of the battery so this battery here is um, so it's an FB N F 550B as you guys can see there and how many milliamps is this um, does it tell me it doesn't specifically tell me how many milliamps it actually is so I might have to actually look look in the manual or something like that. So this is what the battery looks like. So that's the battery. And then we got the actual light unit itself. So hopefully with these lights here, it'll make my videos a little bit more, a little bit more appealing. I'd wish that I had these lights when I did the um, when I did my PC upgrade, because uh, I would have benefited from these lights most definitely. But anyway, so this looks like that. These might be a magnetic. So I'm assuming that these things might might just be magnets. Yes. So they are magnetic. So they're held in by magnets. So of course, I guess it does fall out. Unless I have them on wrong. Uh, maybe I might actually had it on wrong. Actually, it doesn't sit on properly. Do I have it on the wrong way? Oh no. So you, they actually kind of slap into place too, but it it's held down, no problem. So actually, you got the upper part here that actually sticks out. I don't know if I can show this on camera or not. Let's see here if I can show it. 
So you got this part here that kind of sticks out, then you got this section here that kind of comes out. So this bottom part here is what actually fits on this section right here because you can see it kind of it's kind of um, raised up so this would actually just fit right into here and it actually just takes and snaps into place just like that so that's pretty cool I'll have to play around with these and see see the different lighting and whatnot it does but anyhow so you can actually feel the little LEDs on here so there's actually no lens on here whatsoever right I don't know if I can show this on camera or not probably not uh, actually yeah you guys can kind of see it there okay so there's the uh, the um, tripod mount and then this side here there's uh, something that clips onto here I'm not exactly sure what's the deal with that and then of course there's another piece here I don't know exactly what that's for I'll have to take a look and then of course on the back here we got the on off switch and then uh, let's, okay, that's the battery release that one there and then this must be one of the tripod mounts or probably a, uh, no it looks like some type of adapter then here's your switch to actually adjust the light the light on here so let's um let's try this and see how this uh, fits so so the battery just fits on top and you just take and push forward I'm, I'm assuming so to make it easier if you actually pull back this switch the battery goes in easier and there it is so it actually tells you at what strength is that and then you can actually lower it down to where you want it that's pretty cool it actually tells you your battery on there so So I can tell already that uh, this is actually going to make make my videos look look a lot better. That's that's for sure. So that's pretty cool. So there we go. So make sure all the LEDs are working. It looks like they are. So that's uh, that's that. Okay, guys. So this is actually the tripods. So. Let's go ahead and open these. Now I'm already using one of the lights. It's kind of off to the side here a little bit. You kind of can see the kind of the shiny over here. Actually, you can see it. You can probably see it on uh, on this area over here. That's kind of shining. But let's go ahead and open these up. see what these look like so it's a box within the box here so we get this out we'll put this off to the side here for now all right so this is the actual box so it's from Amazon Basics. It's aluminum seven foot light stand with a case. So this actually comes with a case and it's a two pack. So let's go ahead and uh, get into here. Hopefully you guys can uh, see really well there. Of course my uh, so just bear with me here for a second okay so there's two packs and two carrying cases here so 
that's one. That's two. Okay, so just put the one on the side here. Okay, so that's actually have this strap here where I could probably put it around your shoulder, whatever, to make it easy to carry. And uh, open this up. Uh, nothing else in here. Let's see what else is here. Foam here. Probably should just be able to kind of pops out just like that. And then let's see here. So it's got this little little knob here. I don't know if you guys can can see that or not. So you undo this. So it actually lets this open up. I'm assuming. Uh, let's see here. It's pretty, um, okay. there it goes. So you can actually kind of set where you kind of want it to be. So I'm assuming this probably opens up. Yeah, so. Okay, so you can actually set this up whichever way you want it. So that's full, uh, that is full extension. I don't know if I can show you guys or not. So that's full extension. Okay, so you can actually set this up so that it kind of narrows down some more. So if you're kind of restricted on, on how much space you actually have, like that. So there you go. And then of course, uh, of course you can have it open like that. You can also make it shorter, just like that. So this is probably the shortest it's going to get. So let's see here if I can get you guys just a tad out of higher so you guys can see. So just uh, bear with me for a second here. see my Nintendo Switch and stuff in the background here so so this section here actually you open it up it actually raises so if you want if you want to set the camera up higher okay just like that so this goes up to seven feet high so so it goes up quite high. So now let's uh, take this off here and the adapter. So the adapter here which came with my lights should theoretically fit on here. I hope I hope this fits. And, and it does right on so it actually fits so I'm pretty happy with that of course you get the little the little protector here okay so now the light 
will actually fit. Uh, let's just turn this off for a second here. Okay, so this actually has two. Um, let's see here. So this actually has a hole to fit the light on here. If I can get it to kind of get it to fit here. There we go. And there it is. Uh, let's see if I can raise you guys a little bit more so you can kind of see. So you can actually adjust it. So if you actually want it to be facing downwards, just like that. Or if you guys want, if you wanted to kind of be at an angle. There we go. So there we go. Hopefully, this um, you know will give my will give my videos a little bit more of uh, a better review, a better view here, because now I kind of have better lighting. So with two of these in place, one on either side, hopefully you guys will have a better a better viewing experience than anything else so let's uh, let's do a test here so I'm just gonna bring you guys down some more sorry about the wiggleness here and we're gonna attempt to do something different here usually usually when I do my videos I usually have my camera kind of um, kind of facing down downward direction, right? Because I want to be able to give you guys the best the best possible view whenever possible, right? Especially when when uh, we're doing small stuff like this. Yes, I did get the Galaxy Buds. I actually picked these up this week, so there's going to be a video coming on these, that'll be soon. So I usually have my camera facing downwards, okay, but today what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open these guys up here so you guys can, uh, can see. And I actually wouldn't mind you guys telling me if this is the type of view you prefer, like at an angle like this, or would you prefer me continue on with my videos kind of, you know, face down, direct on top, on top of the uh, actual, um, you know, on, on top of the actual product itself. I know on small things like this, it's pretty easy to kind of, to kind of uh, have it downwards kind of view on there but you know sometimes it doesn't work that way sometimes it doesn't but uh, you know I'll try my best to do what you guys prefer right so these are the actual lenses for the second one so everything all looks kind of good so that's good there and I want to make sure that this light actually works properly too. And then, uh, let's see here, that's the battery. That's the actual mount. So, this seems to be in order too. This one here seems to be that it hasn't been opened yet. So, this of course has the, uh, the actual kind of plug in as well. And 
and the battery here. So of course, same type of battery. Now I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to buy extra batteries for this or not. I'm going to have to look at that as well. So here's the other um, tripod mount, and then the second lights. So it seems to be in, in pretty good order, just a little bit dirty, well, it kind of looks like it's kind of, this one here seems to be a little bit scratched up, but that's just probably dirt. The thing is, as long as it works, is the most important part, so, sorry about that guys, I should have probably put my phone on mute. That will be bothering us no more. Okay, and there it is. So this battery is almost dead completely. So I'll just drop this down so I can take a look here. Okay, all the LEDs look good. So now with this over here, um, so let's see if the camera will actually focus on this or not. So. I don't know. Yeah, it looks like you can actually see it. Okay. So actually, if you take and you press this button here, you'll make the bottom flash, and you can actually change the lights on here. Actually, can't see it very well. Let's increase. Go here. So you can actually. You can actually. Um, wait on a second here, you can't really see, so let's turn this guy off so that you guys can actually see it here. So, I don't know if you guys can see it kind of changing shades on there. That's the, actually this, this part right here. You press it down, then you can actually adjust the uh, how bright you actually want it and what not. So there you go. So these are my new lights. Um, hopefully, this will give give better lighting for my videos now uh, for you guys. And um, yeah. So I wanna, you know, I wanna try to give you guys as much, as much value as I possibly can, you know, the best viewing experience. So that's it. So there you go. So these are, these. This is it for this unboxing. Um, if you like this uh, this video, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you wanna enjoy my content, please subscribe. And just a reminder that I am giving away, giving away uh, some uh, some prizes for for me passing the uh, the thousand subscribers threshold. Uh, just watch my uh, thousand uh, thousand thousand subscribers celebration video and give away uh, details. I'll put a link up here somewhere. So thank you for watching. Goodbye.